What if you could pop anything like a balloon? Wait, anything? Anything. To answer that question, we're making a short film called The World's Sharpest Needle. You can go watch it right now on the Corridor YouTube channel. In the meantime, here's how we made it. I'm directing this, and I'm starring in it. Oh, <laughs> that sounds hard. Yeah, it is. I'm visual effects supervisor, and I'm starring in it. Oh, that sounds hard. <laughs> it will be. How are we gonna manage all these responsibilities? Easy. Him. That guy. Yep. There he is. Brought my camera. Matt's directing this. I'm directing it a little bit. Jordan Allen's directing it a little bit. But at the end of the day, we all defer to Matt if it comes to a creative disagreement. Do you want a rack focus or do you want deep focus? Deep? We could do deep. World's longest lightsaber is the most successful corridor video of all time. And essentially, this video is a spiritual successor to all of those videos. There's a lot of pressure and a lot riding on this to be good. So it's got to be good. I got to make it good. This is a shot list and it's my secret weapon. I will take one too and then Nico will take one and then yeah. Everybody got the same brain. Once every shot on this list is crossed off, the short is done. We can go home. Why don't we just cross them off now? Shoot, didn't think about that. I don't have a pen though, unfortunately, so we may have to shoot this. We might actually have to shoot it now. Yeah. All right, this first one's an extreme close-up of a needle. Shooting this way. Take it. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. I also have a secret weapon. Uh, but my secret weapon is just a list of visual effects assets that we need to gather, and I did that on my phone because I'm not a dinosaur, Matt. Who prints things? Matt and Jordan released the balloon. It pops. A drone's perspective, bird's eye. Sounds to me like we're gonna need a drone. Sounds like we're gonna need a wren. I'm pilot. I fly. So we're like that high? A little higher, I think. Oh yeah, that'll be easy. I need Nico though. This is what makes this drone so great, is one person can fly, one person can film. <laughs> It's a drone, yeah. It is, yep. <laughs> yeah, it is, yep. We have it all. <laughs> yeah, we got everything. We have balloons and drones. <laughs> it's very interesting, I know. <laughs> we really created a scenario that would be very interesting for children. <laughs> I have to communicate to Nico what we're thinking specifically for the angle, and then I also have to tell Ren what we're thinking for the angle, but in perspective of where the drone is. And then I have to think about what the visual effects are for the shot. Matt, you're gonna need to lose that green balloon. Matt cannot hold the green balloon over the green screen for obvious reasons, but he needs to have a green balloon. Can you have the red balloon and hue shift it? Ah, so he's gonna get the red balloon and we can isolate the red color and hue shift that until it's green again. Look at this, we're all working together. On a small shoot, everybody gets to contribute creatively. You, you might as well call everybody directors. Are all those guys on one wheels? That guy's definitely on a one wheel. Ren, catch them! Catch them! Catch them! It's like a dog that sees other dogs. <laughs> Is there, hey, 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 guys! Hey, hey, Got a whole one wheel crew out here. What's up? What's up? We saw you riding by on one wheel. I was like, I gotta go say hi. There's a whole group of one wheelers. Oh no. Aren't the, weren't those tied to Jordan's pants? Hey Jordan, can you bring the balloons over when you get a Yeah, we need the balloon stat. You can say please. We're losing daylight here. This is, okay. You know what, I'm not Hurry gonna it up, it. hurry it up, Jordan. Just get the balloons. You're Wait. doing great, you're, you're doing great. I just like if you can maybe get the balloons. Wait, what? Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, sorry. Could you go get those please? Could you, we need those. Can you please go get those? <laughs> <laughs> She's like, can I, you say please? <laughs> Christian tied those on me. Christian tied them. Look at them. Oh. Um, I'll be back. <laughs> my <laughs> birthday balloons. It's my birthday, Jordan. The black string. That's so that we can release the balloon, make it look like we're releasing it, but then be able to bring it back down so we're not littering. Unlike some people do. Action. Hit the freaking tree, dude! Come on! <laughs> <Frick>. <laughs> Come on! I'll be back. Grab it. Come on! Come on! Come on! Was that the needle? Oops! Grab it. Freaking in the crack! It's in the crack! It's in the crack! Well, go get it! <laughs> Dive down there! All right. You're good at crack diving. We're good, we got it. Whatever, it's fine. This shot, basically we just want kind of a almost top down while we are releasing a balloon. It's a fake balloon. I'm doing it in post. Ready? All right, three, two, one, go for it. We're gonna have to do it again because it was completely out of the frame. Just shoot the balloon with a BB gun. Red's ready, just in case. Because Jordan Coleman lost so many balloons, we only have three left that are red. 
We have two more tries. There's not much left in here, boys. Action, pull it towards me. That was it. No, it wasn't. We got one more. That's exactly what we need. But we got one more. We don't. Matt, I just really want to pop the balloon with a gun. I know you do, buddy. I just want to. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, pull. Oh, there he is. Congratulations. Ooh. Now it's time to get all these clips in the little editor and make some more content. Hey, my beard grew, and so did my user base on my new website that I made on Squarespace. That's right, this video is brought to you by Squarespace, an all-in-one platform for growing your business and building your brand online. So say I made a website specifically for people who really love deflation videos, like blowing up balloons, popping them. Well, the Squarespace Video Studio app will help you create and share masterpieces. Beautiful, inflating balloons, deflating balloons, squeaking, whatever you wanna share with your audience, create pro-level videos that help tell your stories effortlessly and share those with the world. Say you have a lot of social media accounts sharing wacky inflatable men videos and images. Well, you can actually link your social medias to your website and share posts through the website, keeping everybody engaged with that wacky inflatable content. Squarespace also offers incredible analytics tools so you can learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are most effective. So go to squarespace.com slash corridor crew for 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. Oh, that was a nice one. <laughs> this is how you pop a bus. First, you need to shoot your footage. All right, so I've got to do a bus POV shot and buses don't walk, they roll. It's also an excuse for me to ride a one wheel during my work day. So, you know, two birds, one wheel. <laughs> is it scary? A lot of motion blur in post too. Mm, I see, I see, I see, I see. That's cool. That is cool. Now that we have our footage, we just need a bus. The bus we purchased is great, but it's comprised of lots and lots of different sized polygons, which is no good for simulation. This would break not only my computer, but my will to live if I tried to simulate this. So what I wanna do is I wanna convert this into a simplified lower resolution mesh, simulate that, and then use that to drive the high resolution version of our bus. So in this simulation, we need it to take place over time. The crinkling needs to start at the front of the bus and work its way to the back. And so I'm animating over time what portions of the simulation should be active. And then you have your finished simulation. And it's really cool, it's satisfying to watch. One of the downsides of driving a high-res geometry with a low-res simulation proxy geometry is that it's not one-to-one -one in the deformation. Sometimes in the high-res geometry, you will get parts of it clipping through itself. But because we shot it in such a way, it's chaotic, it's kinetic handheld footage, and I don't think that it should be too distracting. Hopefully. But I've been looking at this too long. I can't trust myself anymore, so Matt, may I borrow your eyes? I wanna know if you notice anything wrong with it. These are some pretty sick VFX. Wait, is there something I was supposed to see? That's a pass. Woohoo! Yeah. That's a win. What is it that you're working on, buddy? I'm uh, comping a needle into the hand of the sun. You know the sun, remember him? Oh, oh, oh. I play Rick, the bike cop, but that's who I am. You gotta keep people safe out here. Look at these guys. Directing traffic, you know, making sure no one's hitting Nico as he's shooting in the street. It's all part of the job, you know? Hello? This is a little hack that all uh, indie productions should be aware of. Hire an actor to play the part of a cop. No one will challenge you. Good, got it. Thank you, Brett. No problem. All, right, guys, all in a day's job. work. All in a day's work. I'm believing his authority as well. You know, when he shouts, I jump. Hey, slow down! Hey, wait! He's getting out of control, though. He's getting a little out of control, which is perfect timing for him to peak because his shot's up next. Do you know what I'll be doing today? I think you're gonna get popped, son. Get popped? Yeah, but just that. What do you, what do you mean by popped? Ah! Oh, what, what the? What'd you do to me? Oh, God! Oh, I, need, I need backup! Help! Oh, ah! Good. Beautiful. This is how you pop a sun. We have Brett trying to escape while he's deflating. Animation that is happening while a simulation is happening on top of it. So it makes sense to just go full CG with it. And luckily we can, because at the end of the day, we grabbed a scan of Brett, and honestly, it came out pretty good. And we go to our old pal Mixamo. On there, there are a couple different animations that work for me, right? The first is this one. Look at this stumbling goof. Let's go to the IHOP. 
I'm driving. There's also a drunkenness slider. Every animation should have a drunkenness uh. slider. We've got our animation, but what do we need to simulate this? Well, the first thing I applied is what's called a cloth constraint. And if I only apply that to the geometry, then when I push play, this is the result. It just folds over like cloth. Now let's add a pressure constraint inside the cloth. Instead of just flopping into cloth, he's flopping into like a kind of like a walrus-esque balloon. The ideal shape of any balloon, if you ask me. The third step is to add pin constraint. We are going to pin these points to the active animation of him walking and falling so that they follow with him. And I weaken those constraints over time to allow the pressure and the cloth constraint to take over entirely. That floppiness works its way down to the other arm, the back and the legs, and eventually the feet. But there's one more piece of this puzzle, right? The spice, the unnecessary, why did you do it? It only makes sense that that mouth is animated. We have performance of Brett yelling, saying, I need backup, I need backup, I'm deflating, help, help! We can literally just ISO that mouth, stabilize it, and then stick it on top. And with that, we have our final floppy guy. Dean, would you like to see my floppy guy? Whoa, oh my good lord. What did you just say to me? I was trying to scare you. Hey, Dean. Oh, <laughs> yeah, look, dude, he's actually, he's literally screaming for help. Look, his mouth is moving. Dude, that looks sick as shit. Next, I'm gonna try and pop a building. He needs to pop this building. And the easiest way to make a 3D model of the building is to photo scan it. And that's what I'm gonna do today with the drone. You wanna try to get as many different angles as possible. So that's why I tried to get a bunch going left and right at various altitudes going up and over. The more parallax you get, the better. I could fly the drone really low, but then I'll be getting way too close to the cars. See what I mean? Like that bus could hit this drone. So I'm just gonna hit record on the drone and just walk around with it. I'm sure this does look silly. I think I got it. This is the drone footage. Dude, amazing. One step closer. We're not closer. My typical polycam scan is probably around 200 images. This one's 5,000. Yeah. 5,000 images that need to be processed and it's taking a lot longer than I expected. So I set it to go on Friday. I checked in on Sunday morning and then I continued the process on Sunday morning, but we're still going. I hope it holds up. But again, until I see it all together, I just don't know, man. There's always that like, that nervous energy. It's like, what if I'm wrong? Then the whole thing's broken. It's a problem that plagues anyone who does this kind of stuff, truly, where you lose all subjectivity. Is this funny? Is this good? As, I don't know. Until it's actually cut together, you don't know. That's always the thing that's on the back of your mind. is like, ugh, is this coming across? Is this like landing? Because I can't see what's behind the camera. I'm only in front of the camera. I don't know how my performance is selling and how the beats are working until we look at the footage after. And I just can't, my brain just keeps thinking about it. And I can't really stop and take a break. But I wish I was like Nico, where he can literally fall asleep. <laughs> but we're almost there. We're almost there. And when it's done, I might have the greatest photo scan of all time. The scan has finished processing and it is working so stinking good. But here it is. Wow, that looks really good. Isn't that cool? You got the bricks in there. The, literally the brick depth. Isn't that wild? Look, the stop outline. Oh, wow. Like right. uh, from wow. the paint. I did not expect it to be this stinking accurate. This is the geometry of our scan, perfectly integrated into now undistorted tracked footage. This is pixel perfect almost. So now that I have my photo scan, I can project the footage onto the building and then pop that son of a gun using the same techniques we talked about earlier. So I finished the first assembly of our short, and guess what? There are no gaps in this timeline. Everything that we needed to get works. Planning is everything, but sometimes you don't have the bandwidth to execute on everything that you plan by yourself, so you need friends. You gotta have friends. It means I can focus on acting, and he can focus on the direction that we thought about ahead of time. It really helps to have peers who share your sensibilities, who can give you their opinion from the outside world. And I'm surrounded by those people here, which is really great. I can pull all sorts of people. Just take a look and let me know if my mind is playing tricks on me. It's essential, and it's working. Now we gotta finish it. So we did it, we've done it. In our audience we have some of the people who are responsible for the most successful videos in this channel's history. If this video can stand shoulder to shoulder with those other videos, that's a win for us. Then we'll be the world's happiest boys. Let's just pop right into it. That is one sharp needle. 
Hey, what is it? The world's sharpest. You know, for jumping in and making like a classic corridor video, you guys really, I think, did a great job. Like the pacing, the flow, the tent pole VFX shots. You guys killed it. Just like you killed everybody in that bus. <laughs> <laughs> the deflation sims were so good, dude. I love Brett running behind me. He's like... Brett collapsing is really it's cool. so good. Guys, your vision? It's about as sharp as that needle. I dare say I think that this might be the world's sharpest needle. Oh, whoa! You guys should be happy boys because you were out there making something. Being on the street with you guys was a good time. Go watch the full short on the Corridor YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. ah, go! Ah, go! Now! Ah, Don't make me do it again! Ah, you can't stop me, baby! Get away from me! I only have one left now! Ah. Oh my god! That actually scared me. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm walking away. I'm walking away. Uh.